For more, let's bring in former Assistant Treasury Secretary for Public Affairs and host of the Monica Crowley podcast, Monica Crowley, along with chairman of the America First Policy Institute Center for Opportunity Now, Jack Brewer. Monica, um, it, I, it, this isn't a newsflash, and we've kind of seen this before. There is no new, there is no lion's den this guy is afraid to walk into. Well, that's exactly right. And there's big 2016 energy around yeah. President Trump. It's a different energy than when he was running as the incumbent president in 2020. He is absolutely fearless. And part of his appeal, actually a big part of his appeal, is this raw authenticity. You know, he is not scripted. He is not focus grouped. He does not pan. He goes right into these audiences, right into the belly of the beast. He takes all comers. He takes the most hostile questions like he got today. And in a very kind of genuine, unscripted way, fends everybody back. And that kind of no BS, no politician style speak, that like cut straight to the chase. Tell the American people the truth. Here's where I stand. Take it or leave it. But I am willing to face uh, the hard questions, <laughs> unlike my opponent, who didn't even show up except via Zoom today. Jack, Brian Yunus referenced this in his hit, but the conversation with President Trump got off uh, on the wrong foot. That's putting it nicely <laughs> at the National Association of Black Journalists. Here is the very first question President Trump was asked. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so, in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. Jack, you can talk about whatever part of this you want. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I tell you what, the way that he responded... Uh, should make every American proud. Uh, as a black man, when I look at President Trump and I see him get thrown into the lion's den, I want to remind America that not all black people think that way. Uh, they, some people see America as a place for hope. This, this audience sounded like they agreed with President Trump most of the time. But these folks who are a asking the questions, they see the world through the lens of race and skin color. And so that's all that they can see. But I'm proud of President Trump. Uh, I spoke to the campaign recently. My suggestion is, is when you're getting jumped, and that's what happened today, mm. President Trump got jumped. And I don't know if you understand what that means, but that means when a bunch of people jump on top of you, you got to walk in with your back up, back up. Let President Trump walk around for the rest of this campaign with the African-Americans that support him. Let the American people see him for who he is. He is a man that has lived his entire life to help support black people. The reason I know that is because I talked to his staff and the people at his number of locations that work for him. And by the way, the majority of President Trump's staff are minorities. And so uh, I think he did an excellent job with so much class and dignity uh, to be disrespectful disrespected at the level that he was disrespected today and i applaud him it makes me want to support him even more and i think that he'll actually have an uptick of support from for african americans that are sick and tired of the race baiting coming from the left for a guy who has the media arrayed against him he does know how to break through and get his message across. Yeah, exactly, because he goes over their heads, yeah. which is something President Nixon did very well, President Reagan did very well, but really the master of it is Donald J. Trump, who goes straight over the top. He calls them fake news, he dismisses them with the back of his hand, and then he talks or, directly or to Or just runs right through people. them like a bowling ball. <laughs> Jack, before we go, I, yeah. but this was... This exemplified what was today, what President Trump will face between now and the election, oh, yeah. and that's 
Kamala Harris doesn't have to say anything. That's right. But all of journalism, if you can call it that, all of the media will be doing the dirty work for her. No doubt. Against him. And that's dangerous. I'll tell you what, you know, going against Joe Biden, we knew that we were going to have low border turnout. Going against Kamala Harris, they've been able to strike a chord, particularly around uh, identity, uh, race and gender. We have to change our, our approach. We have to go at them just like President Trump went at them. We have to fight, fight, fight like he said when they tried to assassinate him. We have to put his voices around him. We need female voices to speak into Kamala Harris. We need African-American voices to speak into that community. We can no longer let Donald J. Trump be the lone ranger out there fighting for himself. We have to use the people that speak into these populations across our nation. We don't have any more time to waste. I'm talking to anyone who can hear this message. The time is now. Jack, thank you. Jack Brewer, Monica Crowley, both of you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.